um, on the 25th, it's going to be the death anniversary, if you will, of my grandfather who um, raised me and was the, um, the, the male figure in my life. And we, um, we had a lot of great times together, even though they're short lived. And I obviously was a kid and, you know, I didn't appreciate those moments. And until I'm looking back to them and, yeah, you know, I was a bad kid. So my family says, and, and, I, and I guess I regret a lot of things that I, that I did or not that I did. I don't regret anything I did, but I regret things that I didn't do, like spend more time with my grandfather or whatever, you know, we all feel that way. So, um, so now that this, this, this anniversary of over a decade is, is coming up now. Um, and over the last like two years, it's just been people, people leaving this life so soon and it hasn't been fair and um it's just been a really hard couple of years for for not only me but for my 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 best friends and my family and so i'm not very eloquent with words and so i, I it as you can see so i the song just kind of came out of me the other day um and I decided to um, play it for you guys because I hope that maybe something can help you within it. I don't know, music, you know, helps me sometimes. Like when I hear a lyric that, you know, you know, speaks to me and I'm like, oh, damn, okay, that's how I was feeling, etc. So um, I wrote this song. Some of it is personal, like the first line, 119, the clock looked at me. 119 was the moment that I knew my grandma had, had died. I was in home ec, probably not paying attention. And I, I remember I just looked at the clock. It was one nineteen, And like, just, I, I felt a piece of me literally leave my body. I can't, I can't really explain it. I'm sure you all have felt that in some way or another. Um, but I, I, I literally at one nineteen, I just felt it. And I was like, I know I'm going to go home and I'm going to get this bad news. And so I, you know, I went home and I saw my mom, she got out of the, her truck and I just knew, I, I just knew, I just knew she was going to tell me that, that Poppy had died. And so we went over and, you know, everybody was there and it was, it was really fucking sad. It was really sad. Just like, just like any of that is. And, um, so I was really mad at myself because I, I hadn't got to be the best person that I could be. And he didn't get to see in his physical body, the best person that I get to be right now with myself and learning how to get better because of the tools that he gave me that I didn't even realize that he had given me. So, um, kind of to ease my thoughts, I, we, we went to Illinois for his funeral and I wrote him a letter and I put it by his feet and that was kind of my goodbye. And then like that night at the hotel, um, I woke up, I was sleeping in the hotel bed. I woke up and then I, I saw my, I saw my grandpa. It like wasn't his physical, it wasn't his physical body. It was his his, his, his spirit, if you will. Um, and it was like, it was that, it was that goodbye. Okay. Kept his bottle of old spice. I smell it all the time. Um, and yeah, I just, um, over the years, so, something that I've started to realize is if you, if you know me, you know that um, I believe that I don't believe in, in, in God necessarily, but I, I believe that the, the universe itself is God and we are made up of the universe. Therefore, like we are, are God, like we are the face of God. And, um, so I think through learning that, 
um, one of the lines is, at, at first was, um, I learned, you, you, but you teach me lessons every day, I'm guessing that your death was the birth of a new start. And I was thinking more start as in, um, you know, he, you know, it, it, in the sadness of his death, it brought um, a clearness to me to, you know, grow up and be a better person, and etc. Et but then when Stevie listened to the song, I played it for her the other day, and she said, I love that line that said that your death was the birth of a new star. And I was like, star? It's not star, it's start. But then I changed it because I, I love that. I love that it's star because that's, we're just recycled. And we're just a part of the universe and I, and I love that we can be rebirthed into that and know that, you know, their light is shining down on us in maybe not a physical way, but, but in some sort of way, like I believe that they're there. So, um, yeah, I, I hope this song can possibly maybe help somebody, I, I don't know, it, I guess it's, I guess it's more for me, but I'm sharing it with you guys, because like I said, I don't really know what to, to say to people when, when somebody passes, a, passes away, um, you never know, I mean, it's, it's happened plenty of times to, to me alone in the last couple of years, and I'm still like, there's no good words, so I decided just to put it into a song, so this is my song, um, my song, Field of Poppies. <clears throat> One nineteen, the clock looked at me and it stopped creating time. I drove on home and you were not alone, but the disease took your body and my hands were tied from clenching my fist. My do that 
I'm, I'm very patient with, with, um, um, coping. So, um, I just want to let you know that I am here for you, um, via phone, via Facebook, via, um, anything. So love you guys.